see, I've been force one pro wrestling for the past six months. And I've been run over by the political bus. I'm always second rate this, second rate that. Well, Jason Gotti is second rate to no one. And you see, I realized something here in Force One, that the people that get ahead are, are just like dogs. They travel in packs. So tonight, I'm gonna show you why I'm a superstar, that I know I am. Millionaire Ted, I got a proposition for you, brother. I wanna be in your stable. Come on out. that none of your stable has, and that's talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let me get something straight here. Gotti, is it? Gotti? Okay. Let me explain something. There is no openings in the Million Dollar Empire. I've got great athletes, the best talent in this damn company, and what would you offer? Got. I see a guy that comes and rams through people in bear, right? I see all the people you got. But you know something that they don't have that I have? It's right here. It's the smarts. And with me and you together, it's like the meeting of the minds. We can offer something special. And we can take this company and put it in the back of your pocket. We all know how much you like money, Ted. Me and you, we can make a lot of money. What do you say? Well, you know what? I'm a fair businessman. Give it to you. You got a lot of stones for coming out here and even calling me out. But you know something? This might be your lucky night. I'm gonna give you a little proposition here. You wanna be in the Empire? Yeah, you're right, I do. Okay, simple as this. You either accept it or you don't. You win the match against an opponent I'm gonna have come out here to go against you. You're in. If you don't, you're gonna be my male slave. So, take as much time as you need. You got the next three seconds to answer. You people think I should do it? You think I can win? Brother, you think I'm gonna be your male servant? Well, you know what, you just reset it once. You got another thing coming. All right, we have an opponent for this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Gotti's opponent hails from anywhere he pleases. He weighs in this evening at 1,000 pounds, including his ego. This is the Rockin' Rebel!
Last I heard, you were on suspension. It's not what your wife said. Speaking of his wife, Mrs. Varley's, I hate to bring the cat out of the bag, but this clown here is the one who suspended me, and I'm going to have to expose something tonight. See, before he met you, he was with this young lady here. And if you're all going to call her a pig, she's not a pig. She squeals a little bit, but that's okay. He had an illegitimate son, and his illegitimate son's name is Jason Gotti. See, that's what happens when you drink too much beer. So, like Mark Poe would say, Phil Varlis, when it comes to Jason Gotti, you are the father.